Today we're going to read a story. It's a long one. It's called Moon Bear's Dream and it's by Frank Ash. And look, there's Moon Bear. One day, a kangaroo with a joey in her pouch escaped from the zoo and wandered through Bear's yard. Do you see what I see? asked Little Bird. I sure do, replied Bear, but I can't believe my eyes. It looks like something from a dream. Maybe we are dreaming, cheered Little Bird. Yes, that's it, cried Bear. We're probably asleep and in our beds right now. Maybe we should wake ourselves up, said Little Bird. Why not have some fun first, chuckled Bear. He went inside, took down his honey jar, and started scooping out big pawfuls of honey. Weren't you saving that honey for winter, asked Little Bird. Look, there he is, scooping the honey. Let's pretend to scoop honey into our mouths. Mmm, <coughs> yum. This is dream honey, said Bear. I can eat it now it'll, and it'll still be here when I wake up. Silly Bear. What a great idea, said Little Bird, and he flew to the shelf where he kept his bird seed. When Bear finished his honey, he dropped the jar on the floor. Crash! Aren't you going to clean that up, asked Little Bird. Why bother, asked Bear. When I wake up, the mess will be all gone. That's right, chirped Little Bird, and he pushed a vase of flowers off the table. Let's just make a mess. That is silly. Let's make a big mess, cried Bear. Look, he's throwing flowers. What fun, whooped Little Bird, and we don't have to clean up. All we have to do is pinch ourselves and we'll wake up. Then everything will be nice and neat again. Uh-oh, look, all the mess they're making. They're throwing everything in the air. I love this dream, said Bear. What shall we do next? Let's go for a dream swim and pick some dream berries, chirped Little Bird. Okay, agreed Bear, and they walk to the pond. They're in the water. While two friends had fun together, the kangaroo wandered into Bear's house. And that's where the zookeeper found her. Oh my, he cried, look what you've done. The zookeeper thinks the kangaroo made the mess. The zookeeper quickly picked up the clutter and swept up the floor. He even gave little bird new bird seed and fixed Bear's honey jar. Then he tried to catch the kangaroo. When Bear and Little Bird returned home from the pond, Bear said, I don't want to see that mess again. Me either, chirped Little Bird. Let's wake up. Okay. So they pinched themselves. Then Bear opened the door and everything was neat and tidy. Bear's winter honey jar was full and so was Little Bird's birdseed bag. Gosh, that was fun, said Little Bird. But how come we're not in our beds? Bear thought for a moment. Hmm. Then he said, we must have been sleepwalking. All that sleepwalking tired me out. Little Bird yawned. Oh, me too. Let's take a nap. Sweet dreams, said Bear. Sweet dreams, chirped Little Bird. The end. What a silly story. They thought they were dreaming. Bye, friends.